In this episode of Loops Effects, I will show you how to use the related tracks window in Recordbox 5.1. So. Channel players and welcome to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall or Bayanvala as it pronounces Sweden and today I'm gonna talk to you about a new feature that Recordbox has just released. New or new, yes, it's an old feature but since 5.1 it's totally revamped. I'm talking about the related tracks feature. It makes it possible to view other tracks that fits the tracks you are playing or the tracks you want to play. If you select a deck or a track or the mouse to output, then related tracks window, you will get a list of all the tracks that fits the track you are playing, depending on the criteria you have set. You have five presets for the criteria and let me show you how it's done. So stick along for this video, but first please click the subscribe button and then the bell if you want to be reminded every time I put on a video on this channel. So. Let's do this! <laughs> we start by checking a track from the list and I have chosen my own track, Legend, that has almost 1 million plays on Soundcloud. So after this episode of Loops FX, go straight to Soundcloud and listen to that track. And if you want a copy of that track, please subscribe to this channel. So select a track and uh, press on the icon that, that looks like a bean or a peanut and the pop-up says display related tracks list window. So we click on that, and here are all the tracks that fit the preset BPM 5% more or less and released the same year plus one last year. If this means that it look at the track that I have selected, takes the BPM 5% more or 5% less, 5% uh, faster or 5% slower than Legend, and all the tracks that are released the same year as Legend or one year uh, older than Legend. And that's an extensive list. All these tracks fit that bill. And you have five presets you can choose from. So you see same year plus one, date added 100. That means that the BPM 5% more or less. I have all, always 5% more or less. Uh, and the date added 100. That means that all the tracks that I have uh, added to the collection from now and 100 days back. Uh, key is the same key, uh, plus or minus two keys, up and down. So, and if you want to change, let's say, the same color, so you don't want that preset anymore. So you just uh, press on the cogwheel and then you select whatever you like. Uh, key, current key, related key, date added, everything. Uh, and you will rename the preset by clicking on the title. One thing that I want to write to a pioneer about is my tag. You can only choose match all of the items or match any of the items. I would like to have the ability to match only one tag. I have several collection of tags. I have divisions of tags and for mood, my groups and everything like that. If I want to have mood, for example, my tag mood, the same mood tag as legend, I would like to have a list of all those tags that fits that. One thing that I don't suggest you use is history. Because if you use history, you will end up playing the same tracks all over, every night, every week, every year. I want the crowd to feel that even if the same old DJ every night, it's not the same old tracks every night. Here are lists, master 1, 2, 3 and 4. If you want to get the latest track from a track from the list, you have to click on the list. If you play a track, let's take another and put it in deck 1 and go to legend, back to legend, you see the tracks that we have, or you press the deck 1. Deck 2, there's nothing, so let's put in a track there, Champagne with Adu, or Master, we don't have any Master because we don't play anything. When you play, when you're out there in the booth and you press Master, then they're going to show all the tracks that fit the Master, and that's what this related tracks is all about, I think. Back to list. And here is some sorting feature, you can sort by Auto, I don't, I haven't figured out how it works yet, but track title, artist, BPM and key. Uh, if I take um, Champagne with Adu for example, 
it's the key 6a if you are using camelot wheel then i choose key to sort 6a if i want to go from there to 7a or if i want to do a crossover or something like that uh, if i only think about the bpm then here's the bpm that's it and that's that about related tracks window since I started using the related tracks window, I have spent less time digging for tracks and more time preparing the next track while playing. And I really love to do the un un unexpected. And if you want to do the unexpected, you have to spend more time with the track, not searching for a track. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell if you like this video and want to get some more of Loops FX. So, see you next time. <laughs>